chamber, uh, lying flat on my back as a corrections officer began to tell me about the, quote, safe and humane lethal injection process that had just been used on Charles Coleman a few days earlier. As a 15-year-old high school student doing a report by interviewing people on death row, I became intimately familiar with many of the grossly inhumane um, acts that our justice system perpetuates and can often uh, uh, perpetuate injustice during that time. You know, our Mennonite uh, community uh, acknowledges that the criminal justice system has sent innocent people to death row, that the death penalty, as um, Tala and Joya just, uh, just said, is applied in a racially discriminatory fashion and is disproportionately to some of society's most vulnerable people, as we saw just last week in Missouri with Ernest Johnson. We acknowledge the deep grief of the families of murder victims and victims of capital punishment laws. We hold them in our prayers and we commit ourselves to walk with them. But as Joya and Tala have already communicated very well today, the death penalty system has got to go. It is economically, racially, morally, and spiritually unjust. It preys on people of color and people in poverty. And it refuses to acknowledge the inherent worth of each individual as God's beloved children fearfully and wonderfully made. And even if, even if one of God's beloved children had lost their way and committed an egregious act of violence, we too have lost our way when we meet that egregious act with violence of our own that will never allow our communities to live in peace but simply perpetuates the violent world in which we live. So we must shut down oppressive systems of injustice so we can build a beloved community here in Ohio and around the country. And so God, we cry out to you tonight to intercede on our behalf Teach us compassion, make us more human, and may we turn over the tables of injustice so we can all begin to heal. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Brian. We now welcome Claire Burke Revisa, social mission intern and senior here at Xavier University. Like the Catholic community I represent, I know that my Catholic faith is as much about my actions to build the kingdom of God as it is about my beliefs. For me, Catholicism means upholding love, mercy, and forgiveness by working for systems that promote justice especially for the most marginalized in our communities. As Pope Francis declared, a good Catholic meddles in politics. I cannot think of anything more antithetical to my faith, no better place to meddle than in opposition to the death penalty. Catholic social teaching proclaims that every human person has inherent God-given dignity and that a person cannot do anything to wipe that dignity away. We are the Imago Dei, made in the image and likeness of God, and that can't be forfeited for even the worst behavior. As a Catholic, I believe in a preferential option for the poor and the vulnerable, and condemn the racist implementation of the death penalty in the United States, which puts black and brown men to death at vastly disproportionate rates, and which targets the poor who cannot afford adequate legal representation. Catholic, I believe in relationships of love, mercy, and forgiveness, and I resist cultural calls for vengeance and support for work for restorative rather than retributive justice. As a Catholic, I am called towards radical compassion. I am obligated to resist violence in all its forms. That does not only mean entering into loving and just relationships with my peers, my friends, and my family. 
It also means resisting the violence of state-sanctioned murder and actively fighting for systems in which all people across the global community are treated with dignity and respect. Pope Francis teaches in Fratelli Tutti that, quote, the death penalty is inadmissible and the church is firmly committed to calling for its abolition worldwide. We are gathered here today because each of us believes in this possibility of bringing about a better world, a world in which all of us have access to true justice, in which we practice radical mercy and forgiveness, in which we build systems that protect, not exploit, the poor and the vulnerable. Building this world begins with abolishing the death penalty here in Ohio. I would like to close with a brief prayer from Sister Helen Prejean, longtime advocate against the death penalty. <coughs> God of compassion, you let your rain fall on the just and the unjust. Expand and deepen our hearts so that we may love as you love, even those among us who have caused the greatest pain by taking life. For there is in our land a great cry for vengeance as we fill up death rows and kill the killers in the name of justice, in the name of peace. Jesus, our brother, you suffered execution at the hands of the state, but you did not let hatred overcome you. Help us reach out to victims of violence so that our enduring love may help them heal. Holy Spirit of God, you strengthen us in the struggle for justice. Help us to work tirelessly for the abolition of state-sanctioned violence and to renew our society in its very heart so that violence will be no more. Amen. Amen. Yeah.